and his wife hath made herself ready. A word to believers. Of encouragement and supplication. The true believers after receiving Christ's grace will fulfill his word slash commandments, and they will live by his living testimony of faith, thus being valid to his new covenant. In other words, are you a Christian having been saved by grace who is believing and practicing, and who continues your life? In Christ walking after the higher application of the spirit of the law of life. So being awake in the faith and valid to Christ's new covenant? Or just claiming to be one and not believing and practicing after the spirit, but only practicing after the things of the letter of the law of sin and death, and door after the ordinances and doctrines of men, and door walking after self-willed subjections to the fleshly slash earthly slash temporal slash vain rudiments of this world so being asleep to the faith and invalid to Christ's new covenant. Such that sleep in the world are believers who fall to error, even though they profess Jesus Christ and even claim to live in his name they are not in his spirit, so they do not fulfill his word slash commandments validly to his new covenant. They even profess the return of Christ with his second coming, yet they choose not to put on his spirit because they are too concerned for and are content with the things of this world as though more important. Jesus even warns them not to be caught as unawares, or as naked, or without oil for their lamps, but they carry on as though it means nothing. When Jesus does come it is to these he will come as a thief, and then they will be shut out and suffer the weeping and gnashing of teeth. To any of them that will hear before it's too late I say. You need to wake up and seek. Jesus now, while he is still knocking at the door of your hearts. When the Apostle James tells us, faith without works is dead. He is not referring to the works of the law. But he is referring to works in the sense and application of believing is doing slash practicing what you preach slash walking in the faith after the spirit slash living the testimony of Christ in keeping and fulfilling his word slash commandments, so we can keep his new covenant in a higher and better way that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. This is not the same as keeping the commandments by the Old Testament ordinances and precepts being the works of the law, which the Apostle Paul tells us is not of grace through faith in Christ, and of which Jesus abolished for us under his new covenant. True believers will fully keep God's word having it written in their hearts, which is Jesus who is God in their hearts and are empowered by his Holy Spirit to fulfill it and bear the fruits of the Spirit. They do not force it upon others, nor do they enforce it by threat of the judgment of death. For to do so would clearly signify being of an anti-Christ spirit. Such judgment is to be left in the Lord's hands while in this temporal world, and as well as at his second coming. Be in unity with Christ's spirit of truth. Be established in his high truth, and his spirit will enable you to overcome the coming opposition of the ten kings who will try to bring you back into the captivity of being under old covenant ordinances and precepts, and or some form of the works of the law, which has been revealed as the letter of the law and the law of sin and death, and which is not of the faith of Jesus and his new covenant. Jesus and his apostles and the faithful of the early church exampled how to keep the greater way of the spirit of the law in a living testimony which excels and transcends this temporal existence, and what it means to live as true believers while in this temporal world. And many of them also example what it means to die as true believers in Christ while in this temporal world. If one lives by the old covenant it only leads to death because of sin, for it concludes all under sin resulting in the perdition of the soul in ruin slash lack. If we now live by faith in the new covenant of Christ that leads us to life, everlasting through the promise of his spirit unto a heavenly reward for the soul. And now, if the Holy Ghost dwells within you, and you have put on the garments and been clothed with virtues of the spirit, through whom you have been made in a valid state of mind slash consciousness to the new covenant of Christ, do not return to the old and valued state which would put you in danger of that which is not forgivable. If you should reject the Holy Ghost. If you're still struggling with sin and backsliding get serious and stand upright before Jesus and seek. God's mercy, for grace does not cover those who are backsliding. If you are baptized with the Holy Ghost you are also baptized with fire. Do not rebel against God for chastisements for it is necessary for his undisciplined children to undergo such, of which they will then come to know and understand his mercifulness and forbearance.
there's nothing in this world that can compare to the eternal inheritance which Jesus has given us to be partakers of. Get to know Christ Jesus and all his promises through the Spirit of God now while grace is offered. Do not wait or put it off, and you then miss out and it be too late. If you were a believer struggling with sin and trying to be true to Christ, what if I told you that the more and more one gets to know Christ through the Holy Ghost the one for a what is sinful fades away because of what that one now seeks after instead, being the Spirit of God and the things of the Spirit? Will you be inspired to believe? and have the vision and incentive of spirit to hold fast slash stand firm to the faith? Those walking after the spirit are inspired by the spirit, and have come to know what they have within in the spirit. They avoid sin because they no longer desire it, which means they are enabled by spirit to uphold the essence of the word of God, thus keeping the commandments not as by the old covenant, but by Christ's new covenant. If we are walking in spirit we do not need to be afraid of sin overtaking us, for we would be more afraid of missing out of all the promises in Christ's love and what he has in store for us. So be strengthened in your hearts and in your minds. To the believers in Christ seeking, living and remaining in his spirit of truth slash Holy Ghost. You are the bride of Christ who makes herself ready. And how close is the bridegroom? It won't be long before he and his hundred and forty and four thousand that are already with him are approaching the wedding chamber doors. That's how close. Revelation 19, 7 Let us be glad and rejoice, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Final thought, the seventh millennial day of creation is upon us which is the true Sabbath rest of God. Since 33 AD to this current year of 2016 AD it has been 1983 solar years. However, it has been 2011 plus lunar years since 33 AD. And prophetic years are lunar. Though it's not given to know exactly when he shall come, these are the prophetic last days which the true and pure of heart keep watch for. And the day of the Lord is about due. It's just a matter of when the Father in heaven calls it. Be found ready.